Hey guys, what's going on? It's Chris with AVS Forums, back with a brand new home theater of the month. I have Jacob Atkinson here. We're out here in Friendswood, Texas. We're gonna let you guys know about this brand new one done here in, uh, in just a second. So stay tuned. Welcome to AVS Forum Home Theater of the Month. We're here with John, who's the owner of the Hard Work Pays Off Home Theater. John? Uh, appreciate that. Uh, yeah, uh, so basically I'd like to start off with, uh, with the inspiration behind this, uh, particularly in regards to Macintosh. Uh, my uncle was a uh, general vascular surgeon in Beaumont uh, back in the 80s. And you know, speaking of hard work, he went through med school for so many years, and but his ultimate dream was to build his build up his own Macintosh uh, theater or sound system, and that's that was my introduction back in '85, '86, and back then we had the DVDs were r rather large, laser discs, yeah. laser discs, and and I got to see Top Gun, believe it or not, <laughs> Top Gun, and. It was, the sound was just so incredibly awesome. I was just blown away with the quality of the sound in particular. Yeah, minus the fact that you have the green and the blue with the Macintosh, that's always a, an eye catcher, but the sound was just, again, awesome. So it inspired me from that point on to where I was, you know, as I got older in life, I said, that is something I am definitely going to strive for, is my own theater room with, with Macintosh. You know, fast forward, here we are. Um, and as and as the name implies, hard work does pay off. There's no silver spoon anything behind this stuff. So um, every time I walk in here and I, and I crank this stuff off to watch a movie or listening to classical music, it's just I salivate because it's just so incredibly awesome, everything. Um, Eddie, you know, with Grid and, and his guys, they did a phenomenal job putting this uh, together for us. So the main thing when John and, and his wife came in for what they were looking for, they wanted a nice family space. So it was kind of two people looking for one thing, but with two different interests. You know, Vivian was very um, interested in the seating, making sure it was comfortable for the family, being able to sit in it for a long period of time. Um, and John was, you know, he wanted his Macintosh gear, which is totally understandable. And uh, along with Clips, you know, two good American brands, that uh, he kind of grew up around. So it was this nice, you know, we had to make sure everyone was happy. It was this nice little uh, get together on everything. So, you know, we wanted to make sure um, looks wise, everything looked just like uh, Vivian wanted it, you know, and she picked some great colors and great carpeting um, that really, you know, helped pop. The, the upholstery on the walls helps with the sound treatment, but also looks very good, gives it, you know, kind of that classic theater cinema feel. And then the carpeting, uh, the colors help pop with the, the red squares in it. Um, so, uh, you know, that, that was, you know, once we got everything picked out, then it was just kind of getting, every, you know, getting everything together and getting all the gear in the middle of the pandemic. You know, so we, there was uh, some lead time issues. This was built at the end of 2020. You know, I think you all came in, or, or John and Vivian came in around August or so. August, September, and I think we got all the gear in. At that point, the Macintosh wait time was about two months, and so we started getting everything in around uh, mid-October, early November, um, and then as stuff started coming in, we started the full assault on the room to get, to get it to where we needed it to go. So, um, you know, the, the main thing, uh, like we said with John, is he wanted the Mac gear, so, that, you know, the meters are what get everybody so that's why we went with like the c2700 to give it a nice warm tube sound since he was going to be listening to a lot of lps and and uh cds and then we went with the eight eight thirties for mono blocks for the front three just to give it a night you know a lot of power 300 watts of course we're running clips we don't need a ton of power but now we have nice full power clean macintosh power and we've got some great meters going on as well <music> Okay, let me look like I can do this. 
us in the back alleys to get war. All right, guys, that's going to wrap it up for the Hard Work Pays Off Home Theater out here in Friendswood, Texas. Big thank you to Jacob Atkinson for, uh, for actually allowing this to happen. He set it up with a grid over here, which is a Houston installation, as well as the homeowner. Really, really appreciate you guys for having us out. Thanks, let, John. Let us know down in the comments if you guys would like, like this one, if you guys want to change anything, if you guys are lusting over any of this Macintosh gear down here. Jacob, do you have anything? <laughs> No, I'm good. Thanks. <laughs> that's all I, I got. I want the Macintosh gear. That's about it. Yeah, every, everyone wants the Mac stack. Um, that's all I got for you guys. Make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe. I'll catch you on the next one.